Welcome to the high school physics wind turbine design project and introduction to CAD or computer aided design. My name is Nathan Elder, STEM Explorer coordinator at Delta College. The STEM Explorer is a mobile STEM lab and STEM outreach program for 6th through 12th graders in the Great Lakes Bay region. We hit the road rolling in 2016 and have worked with close to 40,000 students, teachers, and community members since that time. The STEM Explorer is made possible by a generous grant from the Herbert H. and the Grace A. Dow Foundation. Let's talk some project specifics. So for a quick overview in this project, you will work within given constraints to design cost-effective, energy-efficient, small-scale wind turbine blades that will be tested in a controlled environment for the production of electrical energy. Why would you want to participate in this project besides your teacher has assigned it to you? Well, there are three next generation science standards, high school engineering uh, standards, and four national technology or ISTE standards covered in the project. You'll also have an opportunity to learn CAD. And this is a great 21st century skill with lots of jobs available in that field, especially in the Great Lakes Bay region in Michigan. And in a project like this, there's a lot of high level thinking and student engagement. It's not boring at all. And you don't have to have any special technology outside of just regular standard internet enabled devices, which most students will have, especially if you're doing any type of distance learning uh, this year. And we have flexibility in the project. Uh, a teacher can stretch this project out as long as, as he or she wants, or you can work it out within just a matter of a few weeks. And best of all, the support from the STEM Explorer team. We're here to support you each step of the way. As mentioned, there are lots of standards in this project. We won't take time to discuss all of them, but they are in the documentation that you will receive on the website. What's most important is what are you going to do in this project? So basically the project will take around five weeks to complete. You're going to first learn a little bit about the value of wind turbines and you'll get a chance to participate in a virtual or a face-to-face -face field trip to the DTE Alternative Energy Education Center in Bad Axe. Then you're going to learn a little bit about the history of wind turbines from medieval to modern times, even before medieval times actually. Then you'll be introduced to a program called Onshape. This is a 3D parametric modeling program for prototyping, and this is where you'll actually design your prototypes. You'll do some tutorials that have been prepared by the STEM Explorer team, and then you'll work in small groups to collaborate and design your own unique wind turbine blade. Keeping in mind you want it to be as functional as possible, and you want it to be cost efficient and cost effective. And the fun part is the STEM Explorer team will 3D print your, uh, your designs and then we will test them in a controlled environment. And if we can come out to your school to test them with you, we'll do that. But if we have to do it virtually, we'll do that too. So I'll show you the apparatus here in just a second and you can see how this basically works. As mentioned before, we are very flexible with technology. Uh, you can use Mac or Windows machines, iOS or Android or even Chromebooks. Uh, to work in on shape. The STEM Explorer program even has a loaner program of computers, a limited number of loaner devices that can be used if you're doing the uh, project in your classroom. So as I mentioned, you'll be designing wind turbine blades. I spent a few minutes, literally just a few minutes, designing this wind turbine blade. I didn't put a lot of thought into it. It's a real basic design. But you'll notice it's relatively small. It's delta green, and there are a few things I'd like to show you about this. First of all, it's got a round end to it, like a little cylinder, and that cylinder is 0.6 centimeters in diameter. It's important that you have that as 0.6 centimeters in diameter because this actually has to go into a hub, which I'll show you in just a moment. You'll notice that this blade is very thin. That's probably a good thing because the heavier the blade, the difficult, more difficult it's going to be for the wind to push it. But you'll have to decide on the mass. We do have some stipulations as to some limitations as to how uh, massive these blades can be as well as how long they can ble be and whatnot. Let me show you the basic setup. You probably saw this in the background. This is our 
wind testing apparatus and you can see that this turbine is actually connected to some wires and some and a breadboard here with some LED lights and in a moment you'll actually see this in action. Two of these blades have already been assembled and put on this hub. Oops, I just lost two of those blades, <laughs> but let me show you how the blades go in. I had to have it loosened up so we can put this blade in. So you can see that this hub is a little bit like Legos or maybe Tinker Toys. And it's got a knob here for tightening it down, but right now it's very loose. So we're gonna go ahead and put this blade in. And since it is 0.6 centimeters, it fit right in. But as we noticed a minute ago, it is very loose. So we would then tighten it down. But of course we would tighten it down with the other two blades in there also, or maybe more than two. So it's up to you to decide how many wind turbine blades you want on in here. We will uh, have the, um, the number capped at five. So five would be the maximum number of blades that you could use. Two would be the minimum number of blades. So let me show you how this works put in front of our uh, fan because that's how we're going to test this on the STEM Explorer. Now the only difference is we will probably have a multimeter attached to this for something a little bit more specific than just lighting up LED bulbs. But in this one we have three different LED light bulbs so you can see that it's actually generating some electricity. So there you have it. It's a relatively simple project. We have provided a series of tutorials for the OnShape program, and these are really important. You will be working through these, and that will teach you just the basics of uh, computer-aided design using OnShape, which is a professional application, by the way. Great skill to have. So we are looking forward to working with you, uh, maybe in your classroom or maybe just meeting with you uh, virtually. Uh, but we can't wait to see what kind of great designs you come up with. We wish you the best of luck on this wind turbine design project.